And if you had enough of Nancy Pelosi? Yeah. Have you had enough of Harry Reid? Yeah. Do you think we need to change Washington? Yeah. Right now. You all remember during the, uh, the health care summit, remember down at the Blair House, the seven hour Obama infomercial. During, oh no, listen, you know at that health care summit, the president said if we have deep ideological divides, uh, if uh, we have philosophical differences, he said, now quote, that's what elections are for. Well, isn't he right? <laughs> Let me tell you what, Washington hasn't been listening to the American people. Washington has been disrespecting the American people. And guess what? You don't have to take it. We can do something about it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there are only six days left. I told my colleagues back in January that this was the year and this was the moment. I also told them in January that I was all in. And I'm hoping that you're going to be all in for the next six days. All of the phone calls, all of the door knocking, because elections aren't won and lost based on what the polls say. Elections are won and lost based on who shows up to vote. And we've got to turn our voters out all around the state. I couldn't be more proud of the people sitting behind me. Uh, John Kasich, Mary Taylor, Rob Portman, and the rest of the ticket are wonderful people and wonderful friends of mine. I'm a big believer in America. We're the land of opportunity. We're the land that produces opportunities greater than any other country in the world. But those opportunities are being threatened by the challenges that are coming out of Washington. We, ladies and gentlemen, can solve this. And it's called, I'm sorry, what did the president call it? That's what elections are for. This is a big one uh, next Tuesday. God bless all of you and thanks for being here.